Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading for April 19th to the 25th. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're gonna go through some general messages for you guys for the week, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on for you guys this week. What is going on for Aquarius? We have crown chakra and we have movement choices and decisions. Um, bottom of the deck, we have temptation. All right. Uh, trust your intuition when making a decision this week. I feel like you could be tempted to move in a different direction. Uh, could be surrounding love. Um, there may be somebody maybe that comes back around to tempt you. Um, or there may be a, even a strong like sexual desire or something like that because that is that devil energy as well. But with the crown chakra and the movement choices and decisions, this tells me that there's you could be weighing your options and something or just having to make some sort of a decision, but you need to trust your intuition is what I'm getting. I feel like source is trying to, spirit source is trying to give you advice or kind of show you which direction is the best for you. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Um, I'm gonna work through past, present, and future energy. So this is past energy. Current energy, we have the Four of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. And then we have Six of Wands, High Priestess, and the Chariot. Bottom of the deck, we have Hermit. So, yeah, I kind of, I do see you guys kind of keeping to yourself. You're definitely focused on yourself, I feel. So, um, recent past, we have the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups. There could be some sort of project here that you started that you really enjoy with the Ace of Wands. Some of you could be like, I just feel like it's like a new creative fun project. It's something that almost like brings out the youth in you, the childhood energy, something that's fun, um, creative something you're passionate about. Um, and I feel like for some of you, you do make money doing this with the Nine of Pentacles, but I also feel like you just feel really good doing it. I don't know what this is, but we'll kind of clarify. Um, some of you just found a new inspiration for life. So we're gonna kind of, we'll go through this and see. Then in the current energy, we have the Four of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. A lot of you are trying to decide where you're going in life, what you're doing, where do you want to go, what do you want to take control of, what do you want to manifest into your life, what do you want to create with your life, with that Queen of Wands energy. Um, the Four of Cups is here, which tells me that there is, again, like possibly an offer here or an option that maybe you're trying to consider of like, do you move towards it or not? Um, I almost feel like there's an energy of you maybe not wanting to take this op offer but there's definitely a hesitation um so we'll kind of see what that's about in the near future we have the six of wands we have the high priestess and we have the chariot i see you guys moving forward in silence um people are i feel like have their eye on you people are watching you you may get a lot of attention from other people but you're being very silent in your in your moves and your progression forward like people see you progressing but they don't really know how you're doing it um, and again, it's trusting your intuition on how you're going to move forward, how you're going to, uh, reach success and achievement, both the six of wands and the chariot can indicate success here. So it's really all about you this week is what I'm getting. And what decisions do you want to make going forward? So let's see Aquarius. I want to see what this ace of wands is here in the recent past what's this ace of wands in the recent past here for aquarius what is this ace of wands here in the recent past we have strength so yeah like a lot of you found your your passion your mojo there's big a, a big transformation you guys went through here with the death card um 
Some of you are reflecting on memories of the past. What's the Six of Cups here in the recent past? Three of Swords. Yeah, so some of you are kind of like reflecting on things, but I almost feel like it's the reflection that has given you the power to move in a new direction um, and to just um, to decide what's best for you. Tell me more about this Six of Cups. Could have been a past relationship because of the Six of Cups and the Three of Swords. Yeah, you guys are healing from this. Some of you are also doing like inner child work to heal, but you're gaining your confidence um, by doing so. It's almost like some of you are um, working on your solar plexus chakra as well. You're learning new things about yourself. Um, so in the current energy, we have this Four of Cups. So let's see what this is all about. What is this Four of Cups here in the current energy for Aquarius? We have the Five of Wands. What is this Four of Cups here in the current energy for Aquarius? Yeah, Five of Swords. And the death card. You guys aren't happy uh, in your current situation. Five of swords, five of wands. There's drama. There's conflict. Something's coming to an end with the death card and the tower. Like something's falling apart. You're kind of like you're not happy with something the way it is. And I think that's why you're looking into your future. Like what do I want to create? Where do I want to go? Um, you might just might not be happy with where your life is right now, especially after you do this reflection. Now, there may be something that kind of tempts you back in or fear even that maybe kind of holds you back. But that's why it's so important to follow your intuition because the fear, fear can't exist when you follow your intuition, right? Um, and fear is the ego. It's, it's the mind. And so when we're tapped into source, um, you know, really trusting our intuition, it's really hard. You can't listen to both right you have to have one or the other uh, we do flip-flop but yeah this temptation this devil energy it's crumbling it's crumbling it's falling apart so things that have held you back conflict drama ego you're over it you're not you're not paying attention to that anymore you're looking out into the future and you're stepping into your power let's see uh what's this high priestess here in the near future for aquarius we have the queen of wands and the Eight of Swords. So again, that's that trusting the intuition so that you can be successful in how you're going to move forward. We have the world, you know, successfully closing out cycles with uh, following your intuition, stepping into your power. You guys are very powerful right now. You just might not see it. You guys are making big strides, I feel, in your life. What's this chariot energy here for Aquarius in the near future? What's this chariot energy? What is the chariot here? So we have the page of wands, we have the two of swords, and we have the ace of swords. So again, you're, you're getting clear on your direction, high priestess. So when you can um, tap into your intuition, that that's when the clarity comes in. That's when we go from the two of swords to the ace of swords because you clear your mind and you get clear on your direction and you're able to make a, a firm decision here. Um, there is a new path with the page of wands that you're taking, a new journey that you're embarking on. I do feel like it's going to be successful for a lot of you and you've manifested something. You guys are very, uh, very much leveling up spiritually. The high priestess, magician, nine of pentacles, like you're doing what's best for you. You're manifesting a life that you truly want, I feel. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands that fell out here, but let's see what your advice is, Aquarius. What is the advice for Aquarius this week? What is the advice for Aquarius this week? We have the Fool, the Two of Swords, and the Six of Swords, Eight of Swords. Um, don't let your mind play tricks on you. Don't let your mind hold you back. Keep pushing forward. Um, your mind may try to stop you from moving forward in a new direction. Um, and so I feel like, because we also have the Eight of Swords, so the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords are both here. The Queen of Swords is behind that and the Four of Swords is behind that further. So getting clear clear on your mind doing some meditation doing some some things that help you clear your mind will be very important um in order to discern which direction you should take or which which way you should go 
uh, or which is the be best path because the Six of Swords talks about moving in a better direction or moving to calmer waters. Um, so I feel like there is a new path opening up for you here and it, you'll be able to see it once you can clear your mind and really start to trust your intuition. Um, you know, you're taking slow strides, but there is some still some resistance and it's just because I think you have this lack of clarity um, of maybe where you're wanting to go. But I do feel like, again, tap into that intuition because I feel like you're, it's going to be uh, very clear to you in the near future here if you are able to do that. So that is what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Uh, let me know down below. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.